prices are often a lot cheaper. The only difference really is the price. A little bit more expensive. The most delicious potato on the planet. The quality is phenomenal. Now they don't like me filming in there and I've arranged to see it. So it's 32 square meters. It's an Akatore Khatiti, yes? One euro a kilo, 129 a kilo, 379 a kilo, 99 cents, one euro 49, 145. Still very reasonable. It is a glorious sunny spring day here in the city of Riga. And today, we're gonna see just how expensive this city is in 2023. Let's go. So we're gonna begin right here at the market. And I love this place. Not only is it the largest indoor market of all Europe, it's also one of my favorite places in Riga. I'm really a market boy and I grew up shopping in markets. One thing I like to say is that here in Eastern Europe, the market, uh, tradition is very much alive and well. I often shop here because number one, I can pick and choose whatever I want. Number two, the prices are often a lot cheaper than in the supermarket. So it wor it's worth the extra effort and it's always a phenomenal experience. For those of you that may visit Riga, I'll break this down for you. As far as I'm concerned, this market's broken down into three parts. This is the main section. All right, everything is laid out beautifully. Prices are a little bit more expensive. Just round the corner there, where the prices drop dramatically. Not as pretty, I would say just as good, but you gotta look around, find deals. So that's the cheaper side, and then you have it on the inside, which is a lot more expensive. Let's go and have a look. I mean, look how pretty this all looks, the way it's laid out, it's phenomenal. Strawberries, four euros a kilo, they look gorgeous. Very good. Can you try? Can I try? It's sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Give me one box. Big box or small box? A small box, I think. Small box. That's half a kilo. Two euros seventeen, and they are delicious. Thank you very much. And this young lady is selling grapes from Moldova. One eighty a kilo. Avocados, seventy cents a piece, I guess. Cucumbers. 3 euros a kilo. Peppers, they don't look like the greatest in the world, but 2.80 a kilo. Lemons, they're not pretty lemons, but I can tell they're juicy already. 1 euro a kilo. So here guys, take a look. I just bought this. You've got the, the uh, coriander and parsley, 50 cents for 100 grams. Like I said, you got to shop because some places sell it for 50, some places sell it for 80. You might find it for a euro and the quality, I don't, I don't see any difference. The only difference really is the price. Blueberries, 8.50. Good morning. Lettuce, now that's an important one. So the lettuce right here, 40 cents, 100 grams. So one lettuce, I guess, will cost about a euro 20. Hello, eggplant, one of my favorites. Two euros a kilo. Bananas, one fifty a kilo. Hello. Hello. She's assuming I'm taking all those bananas. After I'll come back because I'm filming right now. По-моему, да. Я просто снимаю сейчас и говорю, что я потом буду покупать. Я не могу ходить с кулек этой. They didn't know I spoke Russian. That's the other thing in the market. Unlike a supermarket where it's all self-service, here you can have the most pleasant granny in the world serving you or the most miserable person serving you. You never know. But if you're willing to put up with it, believe me, you'll save some money. Take a look at this stand. How pretty is this? Hi there. Really lovely the way you have it laid out. These are Laura. Oh, this is Laura. This one. This is, the Latvians have perfected this potato. It is the most delicious potato on the planet and it's a euro a kilo <laughs> and onions really nice looking onions two euros a kilo carrots and not your standard carrot you won't find such an ugly carrot in the supermarket but i promise you it tastes better one euro thirty what else we got is that garlic wild yeah. garlic, wild wild garlic yes. huh? <coughs> wild garlic look at that guys wild garlic 150 dill 50 cents per piece yeah you guys have absolutely everything 
even rhubarb. Latvian cucumber, five euros a kilo. Wow, why, why are the cucumbers in Latvia so expensive? Because we have to, because it's cold in spring. It's hard to grow them. Ah, it's hard to grow Latvian yeah. cucumbers. In summer, yeah, they're cheap, like 30 cents less than euro, but like now in spring it's cold. They're just difficult to grow, yeah? Is all this Latvia stuff? Almost, almost. Almost yeah, everything? In summer, yeah, it's uh, all so Look at your tomatoes, even the tomatoes, five euros a kilo. Wow, and they travel probably five kilometers from outside Riga. Yeah, almost. Very nice. And this is, see guys, this is birch juice. So basically they have an abundance of birch trees here in Latvia. And at this time of year, it's fresh, yeah? Yeah. They tap the trees and you get this magnificent sap, basically. And is it sap? Yeah. And I'm going to drink one now. She's, I'm just making sure because I'm standing here sounding like I know everything, but sometimes I get it wrong. Let's try it out. Refreshing, isn't it? Do you like it? Yeah. It's healthy too, no? Yeah. It must be full because of stuff. Like a few weeks in spring. Yesterday we closed our trees. This is the last one. That's it? Yeah. Because so when, the start, uh, when the tree starts to bloom, it's over. It ah, so it's right at the beginning, yeah? Yes. And so, maple is even earlier. It's all over like a month. You have a maple one? No, that's over. That ah, we missed the maple. It's cold and uh, when birch just starts, maple is over. Gotcha. It's even the first one, but like few weeks. So I'm lucky to get this, yes. huh? <laughs> Your name is? Katia. Katia. Thank you so much, Katia. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. A little lesson in sap. Now, obviously, when you're talking about Latvian produce, the quality is phenomenal. But sometimes the prices, even though the government has incentives, lower value added tax, lower sales tax on Latvian produce, it's still very expensive. And as she explained, it's because of the weather here. Yeah, I think that gave us a pretty good idea of what the fruit and veg are like here. Now let's check out the fish, the meat and the cheese at the market. Let's go. So we've just entered the fish pavilion and this right there is one of my favorite fish restaurants here in Riga. I want to do some comparisons on fish. Now I'm just going to go with the standard salmon, uh, cod, things that would be eaten pretty much everywhere. Although the variety here, I tell you, I could show you some fish that you've never even seen or heard of. So right here, guys, are some little herrings. One euro ten a kilo. Very popular fish here. The Baltics are known for their herring and typical for pickling, cooking, really nice looks very good salmon typical fish you'll find anywhere and this piece looks good so here you have atlantic salmon which is probably from norway and trout which uh, is a phenomenal fish 32 a kilo 24 90 a kilo let me know compared to where you live what the prices are like octopus for the spanish friends six euros a kilo yeah so that's cod fillet right there 11.90 really looks good at least we got some idea uh, what the prices are like for fish here in Riga now there's another place down here where they have hello yeah those of you that watch the channel know that I come to the market a lot and in this fish pavilion there's a place where I like to stop every now and again and have a little shot hello of moonshine now this place specializes in moonshine here and you've got the uh, two liter bottle, which is 80 euros. Although you couldn't compare it with alcohol back home. And then the shots, which are one euro 60. Thank you. The shots are twice as big as they are back in England, just so as you know. I was there a couple of weeks ago. They poured me a drink. I couldn't even see it in the glass. That's how ridiculous that was. Now, I also want to point out that a lot of these vegetables that they sell on the inside are twice the price as they are outside. It's also good to know when you're shopping, sometimes you can just walk just one minute out of the way and you can save half the price. So now I'm just coming up to the dairy pavilion, dairy slash sweets pavilion. And uh, cheese is something that I love to eat. So let's take a quick look and see what the dairy products are like here and the prices. So as you can see, the varieties here in, in the market are phenomenal. I'm going to try and identify some, some standard ones, Gouda, maybe some cheddar, although it wouldn't be the real McCoy, not here. So cottage cheese, hello. Hello. Cottage cheese, 9% fat, that's the full fat, right? Five euros a kilo. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, 
Yeah. I'm just doing a bit of a price video here. This is cottage cheese, yeah? yeah Five from, euros a kilo. I'm from England. Where are you from? I'm from Georgia. Georgia? Yeah. Ah, Rogorachar. Gargat. <laughs> I just got back from Georgia. I was in Georgia two weeks ago. Maybe you tried Kinkali Khachapuri. Kinkali, Khachapuri, Lobio, Chacha, Kinsmarauli, Saperavi, everything. Everything you can imagine. Yeah, what's your name? Revas. Revas? Yes. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you. Nice Hello. To meet you. Madam, what is your name? Tanya. Tanya. So you live here in uh, Riga yes. now? How long have you been living in Riga? Five, five years. You like? No. Yes. I am uh, selling Georgian. Where? You're selling Georgian products? Yeah. Ah, so this is limonade yeah. from Georgia. Yeah. You import? Yes. It's your business? Yes. Ah, very nice. So you have... Uh, I have a Kemali. species, yes, species. Here is a jam, or how is it? Ah, this is the walnut jam, yes? Arechi. Satsibeli, Khemali, and... Imeruli, cheese. Yeah, but Imeruli from Georgia? No. We it's are made here. here. I know, I know, but it's not exactly the same. Not the same, because there is a different taste. The cow is different, the yes. milk is different. But this is good for Khachapuri, this yes. one. Huh? Have a Thank nice you, day. my friend. Good luck. Didi Madloba, Gargat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. So, turns out we have a Georgian stand here now, which is fantastic because I like my Georgian food. And one of the uh, the biggest troubles I have sometimes when I travel is finding the authentic products. Now this guy is Georgian, so maybe we're in for for some luck there. Loaf of white bread, one euro thirty. This is not your plastic stuff that's packed in a, in a plastic bag. Now these are locally made ones. So here you've got Dutch cheese, which I guess would be similar to a Gouda, 7.29 a kilo. Russian cheese, which is a yellowy block of cheese, 5.95 a kilo. So guys, take a look. You've got butter right there, fresh butter, not packaged in a supermarket, 9.50 a kilo. So if I had to compare that, thank you. If I had to compare that to a packet of butter that's about 180 to 200 grams, divide that by 5, 950, it's about 1 euro 80, 1 euro 90, I guess, for the equivalent of a supermarket size, which, yeah, it's good, reasonable price. Let's keep going. We're gonna head to the meat market now, the meat pavilion, and see, now they don't like me filming in there. They've often asked me to shut down the camera. So we're gonna have to be quick in there, but uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. Welcome to the meat pavilion. And uh, let's take a quick look before they throw me out. So here we've got some nice osobuco kind of meat, nice marrow in the middle, seven euros a kilo. What looks like a nice piece of roast beef, nine euros a kilo. They don't want me to film. See, I've only just arrived. Chicken breast, 6.50 a kilo. Chicken thighs, deboned, skinless. 520 a kilo. Hello. I don't know why the meat pavilion is so anti-filming, but we're just gonna keep going till security says, can you stop? Ah, oh, this looks better. This is more like it. So there you've got some nice lean mints, six euros a kilo. This is beef, by the way, guys. And some nice pieces of osobuco, six euros a kilo. Hello. So the price for the pork, 540 a kilo. I guess there's a universal price here, and it's Latvian pork. Well, I think this gives us an idea more or less of the prices here at the market. Now let's keep going and see what the supermarkets are like here in Latvia. Let's go. Next up, guys, public transport. In Riga, you've got two forms of public transport. You've got the trams and the trolley buses. They don't have a metro system here or subway. You can buy a ticket right on the tram. I think I just printed a free ticket. Don't know what that means. So for the public transport, because I failed with this, there is a map called Mobili. Looks like that. Ticket right there. To buy it on the app, a euro 50. And you can ride it for 90 minutes. And I rode a bus in London last week. It was one pound 20 for an hour, I think. So more or less the same price. So I've just had an idea. I'm gonna stop in a minute and take a look at my phone on a website called ss.com. Now it's a useful website here in, in Latvia. It's like a classified ads website. I figured why not take a look at the price of a 
one or a two bedroom apartment for rent right here in the center and maybe go and visit it and see what you get for your money here. Let's go. So guys, I'm right in the center here. The street right there is Breviva Street, Freedom Street. It's the main street that crosses uh, Riga. And I found a place that's for rent right here and I've arranged to see it, so I'm on my way. You can't get a better address than this, as far as I'm concerned. And I think it's a one bedroom, but let's see what they're asking for it. Hello. So it's the second floor. Which guys here, that means the first floor actually. It's, it's not ground second, it's first second. Wow. So just to show you, we have a reasonable kitchen. Nice new appliances. Nice sunken sink. I like this kind of sink for cleaning. Breakfast bar. This I guess will be the refrigerator. Living room. Here we've got bathroom. Let me just check the water pressure. Yeah, it's good. Very nice. Nice shower in here too, look at that. So it's 32 square meters. Studio, I thought it was going to be a one bedroom. It's an Akatore Hatiti, yes? 457. So that gives you an approximate idea of what the prices of real estate are right now in the rental market in Riga. That was a studio. Honestly, it wasn't the greatest deal. I've seen one bedrooms twice the size for about the same price. But being in the center, everything's walking distance. It's very convenient. If you move to the suburbs, you know, and you didn't mind a more Soviet looking building, it would be a lot cheaper than that. Yeah, I would say one bedroom would range you about 400, 450 a month. But the convenience of being right in the center. Next, we're going to go to a mall. And that's not in the center. And there's a supermarket there that I want to do some price comparisons to. So let's head to the mall, but that is not walking distance. We do need a cab. So let's see what the prices of cabs are like here. Let's go. So guys, I ordered a cab. I'm sat in a company called Bolt. It's a bit like an Uber. There are two companies here you could use, Bolt and Forest. And I'm gonna link them both in the description below if you happen to be in Riga, it's very useful. And honestly, the prices are extremely reasonable. So we're driving to a mall called Domina. From the center, it's about four kilometers, about a 10, 15 minute drive. And with Bolt, it cost me four euros 50. I could have taken a, um, a forest, would have cost me three euros, but um, 11 minute wait and the weather's kind of turning, so I didn't want to get caught in the rain while I'm filming, so I decided to pay the premium. But yeah, price of the taxis in Latvia, still very reasonable. Loaf of packet bread, 169, brown bread. 189. Normal loaf of bread, white bread, 1 euro 10. Cucumber, most anorexic cucumber I've ever seen. 99 cents on special, regular price, 179. Peppers, 4.59 a kilo on special, normal price 5.89. These strawberries, the ones I got earlier, much better. Normal price 5 on special for 4. Baked beans for all my English subscribers. 208. Oranges, one euro kilo, normal price 180. Granny Smith apples, 219 a kilo. Onions, 129 a kilo. These potatoes, which would have done good for my baking, 29 cents a kilo, reduced from 55. 99 cents a kilo. Carrots, packed like this. Perfectly straight carrots, 179. Packed lettuce, 149 a bag. Avocados, 85 cents a piece. Parsley, which we got in the market, 100 grams, 119, we paid 50 cents. Mushrooms, not the best looking mushrooms, 185. Pork mince meat, 5.98 a kilo. 
kilo, chicken thighs, 379 a kilo, deboned and without skin chicken thighs, 578 a kilo. The uh, beef right there is 9 euros a kilo, reduced from 14. Chicken drumsticks, 349. Pretending to be on the phone so as nobody wonders why I'm actually speaking, but the uh, salmon or the uh, trout, the trout, sorry, is 16 euros. A dozen potato chips, very good quality by the way. 99 cents, regular price 224. Strawberry jam, 1 euro 49. Eggs, 10 pieces, 191. Milk, 2.5%, 145. The full fat, 3.8%, 1.79 79. Sour cream, full fat, 25%, 209. Dutch style cheese, which I guess is kind of a Gouda, 7.98 a kilo. Mineral water, 1.5 liters, 29 cents. Almost 600 milliliters of beer, local beer, Aldaris, for 75 cents on special, regular price 156. Heineken, 99 cents. Corona Extra, 169. Your average bar of milk or chocolate, 129. Family size bar of milk or chocolate, 391. The Lavazza coffee capsules, 5.93 for 10 pieces. Bar Twix, 77. Traditional Kit Kat, 93 cents. My favorite Latvian beer, Valmera Muija, half a liter, 195. Bottle of uh, Tempranillo Spanish wine, 7.29. My favorite vodka, half a liter, 9.54, liter, 9.99, or 0.7, sorry, 9.99, on special. Hendrix, 34.99, Johnny Walker Red, 0.7, regular price, 21, on special for 13. Bottle of Fuse Iced Tea, 197, one and a half liter bottle of Fanta, 197, Coca-Cola, 197, One kilo of flour, 195. Table salt, 89 cents. Buckwheat, 395 a kilo. One kilo of parboiled rice, 269. Barilla pasta, 500 grams, 273. Sunflower oil, one liter, 299. The one kilo of Heinz tomato ketchup, 589. Sugar, one kilo, 129. Philadelphia cream cheese, the small one, $3.99. Nutella, $3.71. Well guys, that was the Maxima supermarket, one of the most, or the bigger supermarkets here in Riga. And I hope that you found this video informative, helpful, and it gave you somewhat of an idea of what the cost of living is like here in Latvia. Well, that's it from me, and until the next time, enjoy your journey.